There comes a time in every artist's life when they're consumed by the desire to wet their brush, hoist their palette paper, and start painting charms. Hey guys, I'm going to do a charm painting marathon. I don't know, that's like a lot of charms or whatever. That's like a lot of charms. There are stuff that they can do it, but I don't even know if they can do it. Can they even keep up? Did my time, did some paintings With a brick clay and an exacto knife Just a girl in a will to survive It's the eye of the artist, it's the swipe of the brush Rising up to the challenge of the sculpey And the last illustrator paints the canvas tonight We're all life references for the eye of the artist. Will Bear be able to finish all these 80s character pins in a timely fashion? Will they channel the powers from spiritual guide and master painter Bob Ross? Will they accidentally drink their paint water? Tune in tonight from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on twitch.tv slash Studios to find the fuck out. Um, hey guys. Welcome back to my uh, channel. Um, thank you for joining me for this very exciting pin painting marathon where I try to paint as many 80s pins as possible. I'm just putting out my palette right now. We're going to get immediately started. Um, for those of you who are new to me, my name is Bear and I'm a illustrator, fiber artist, and pin painter extraordinaire. <laughs> and... Um, Today we'll be painting. Um, I'm gonna try and see how many paints, of, of how many pins I can paint in one in three hours. <laughs> so, what could go wrong? You guys get to watch me sweat. And also, I have some very fun games planned the whole stream. Um, so, oh, that's a sound. Ugh. So I hope you guys are ready for some fun. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well and you had a fantastic week. For a second, I almost thought it was Monday. It is Thursday. <laughs> My days are all like weird, <laughs> mixed up. But yeah, um, as I'm painting these pins, you guys will have to guess what character it is because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> so that's one game we're going to play. I also have some trivia planned, um, some 80s cartoon character trivia, so definitely prepare your brain for knowledge. Um, and here are all the pins that we have. All of these pins are suggested by you guys um, over, you know, on my Facebook, on my uh, Instagram. Um, all these pins are 80s cartoon characters, so you'll have to guess. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and prime all of them. And it's fun because you guys will be having trivia, like I'll be uh, doing some trivia games, I'll be doing some guessing games with you guys um, that you'll have to guess. But for me, it's also a game because I have to remember which character is which. <laughs> so this is already going to be fun. <laughs> I feel like some of these characters are pretty obvious with like their silhouette, so you could probably guess, um, especially this one, I can kind of, you can probably guess what that one's going to be. We're going to see. It is going to be a fun time. <laughs> also, um, let me know what you guys are drinking because my drinks of the day are water and I have some, um, amazing, um, uh, cherry limeade juice that I've been like guzzling all day, so. <laughs> 
character roulette surprise where it's a surprise to everyone, including Bear. Surprises all around. Surprise for you, and for you, and for you, <laughs> but especially me. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, I know, I know this one now. I'm like, what the? I'm like, what the fuck kind of shape is? I'm like, I got it. I know who this is now. Oh, and um, also to keep it in the spirit of 80s. The shirt that I'm wearing is my mom's 80s shirt with shoulder pads. There are freaking shoulder pads in this thing. So I'm wearing an actual shirt from the 80s. So <laughs> gotta keep it authentic. Gotta keep it consistent. <laughs> um, yeah, my mom, she actually gave me a lot of her 80s clothes. I couldn't fit into most of them because she was very tiny. But uh, I do have like a lot of her high-waisted pants and uh, it makes me very happy because I actually really love 80s clothes because <laughs> I'm a giant like weird hipster nerd. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna paint prime all of these. I, oh my God, what is this? What is this character? Oh, 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 I know who this character is. What do you guys think this one is? It's probably gonna be really hard to guess. Um, I'm just gonna jump around from character to character um, just to keep things spicy. So, <laughs> definitely have to tell me what you guys think they are. It's actually coming back to me as I'm painting them. I'm just like, oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember this character. I have so many reference pictures like in my phone right now. Um, just so many. <laughs> okay. This one, I mean, um, quality, you might know what this one is, especially Fedodo. <laughs> um, I feel like the face, sh the silhouette's a little obvious, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so um, what cartoon, 80s cartoons do you guys remember? Because I was born in 92. <laughs> oh my God, do you know? I see it, yeah! <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, some of these silhouettes are like really easy to figure out. Like this one, guys, guys should know what this one is and this one because they're they're in a team <laughs> um but yeah i um there are a lot of 80s shows like what 80s shows do you guys remember or like grew up with because i was born in 92 so um i watched obviously thundercats and i watched he-man those are like my favorites um gem and the holograms came on sometimes um, and there was also this really weird cartoon. If anyone remembers this, please let me know. What is, th oh, I see what this one is now. I had to flip it. <laughs> um, it was called Noozles. It was about like, the first episode was they find like, I think I've talked about this before, but it was like, um, they find this crate at the bottom of the ocean and it's like this, um, koala bear stuffed animal and this little girl finds him and when the Eskimo kiss, he, um, uh, he like comes alive and like there's like another fairy koala bear and like it's like that's like pink and uh, they go on adventures together like she gets like a little um, koala bear face and they fly off into like another dimension. <laughs> I thought it was upside down General Grievous at first. <laughs> uh, that's Deaf Thundercats. You think this one is Thundercats? I mean, I don't know what would give it away, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty hard to say it. <laughs> um, yeah, if anyone remembers Noozles, please let me know because uh, <laughs> Noozles was a trip. I don't even, my grandma only had like the first episode on like VHS. So whenever I would go over there, she'd always put on two movies. It was either Snow White on, on um, VHS or she would put on uh noozles and uh <laughs> the th once you hear the theme song it's gonna get stuck in your head like forever it's like doodly 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 noozles doodly 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 noozles it's like uh <laughs> it's already stuck in my head again <laughs> 
That's Deaf Thundercats, the glorious 80s main. Well, you'll have to see and find out. <laughs> it could be Thundercats. It could not be Thundercats. It's probably Thundercats. <laughs> That's like the go-to 80s show, I feel like, Thundercats and He-Man. Um, there was a show that I remember watching where they were in a, like a castle and there was a witch and a dragon, I think. That sounds vaguely familiar. Um, there was actually a show that someone suggested to me that I completely forgot about. I don't think it was 80s, I think it was 90s, but um, it was like um, Eureka and the castle or something. It was like puppets, and the um, the girl, she was like um, an elf, and uh, she had long blonde hair, and her name was Eureka, and there was like a big dragon. That's it, it was a puppet cast, that's it, oh my god! Great minds think alike! I'm so glad I helped you figure that out. <laughs> yeah, it was Eureka, and uh, there was like a big purple drag, uh, not purple, it was like a big green dragon. And I'm just like, I vaguely remember this show. But yeah, um, this tonight is going to be 80s characters. Um, and then next Monday, we have our needle felting Heartless from Kingdom Hearts, which I'll be finishing. Um, and then the next next Thursday is actually Thanksgiving, so I'll be taking off. So have a fantastic gobble gobble day. Um, but I'll be back on the following Thursday on December 2nd to do a 90s cartoon character painting marathon so i've been getting suggestions from you guys on in on instagram and um facebook on what 80 uh, 90s cartoon characters you want me to paint and i've been getting some pretty good suggestions and eureka was one of them um oh i i just looked it up 1989 to 1995 oh so it is it would count as 80s well damn i wish i knew that because i could have totally incorporated that um damn i remember that show <laughs> that would have been a good one um uh, maybe i'll do that for 90s instead because uh i only have three charms already painted i mean painted already um prepared Eh, push it to 90s week. Eh, that's true, I have all of this to, to try and do. It's mostly 90s. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know if a show counts as like, it's like in that weird in between where like, is it 80s or is it 90s when it starts at like the tail end of the 80s but ends in like the early 90s. So it's kind of like, I don't know where you fit. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, this one, I feel like, ooh, oh, I just got, I, a, a casualty happened. <laughs> I was going to do Gem and the Holograms, um, but I already did a pin a few weeks ago, um, of Gem, so I'm not going to do Gem. Um, did you have any Land Before Time on the list? Oh, dang, wait, that was a, the first of who's 1988. Oh, no! I did not get any Land Before Time suggestions, but, um, <laughs> fuck it. We're gonna put that on the 90s list, too, because I was, like, one of my favorite movies growing up, um, and how could I not? I just associate with the 90s because I watched it a billion times in 1994 or whatever. Me, too! That's why I, like, suggest as 90s, because I'm just, like, I had the VHS, it was, like, I watched it all the time, it came on all the time, so I'm just, like, it has to be 90s. <laughs> Got some splooshies and some sippies for me. Sip, sip, sip. Um, okay, we're gonna start with this one and uh, it's gonna be super obvious. <laughs> and the bright sprites. Oh man, that's such a good one. I wish I, uh, I wish I thought to do that. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna put all these guys to the side. Actually, gonna start with this one. Do you, any of you guys can guess what this character is? Anyone? Anybody got some guesses? Any got, anybody got some guesses? <laughs> I feel like it's super obvious, but feel free to let me know. Um, oh my god, some of these I'm so excited to paint because like, I've been meaning to paint more like cartoon characters lately because like I usually do um, 
video game characters, which I love, but I'm just like, you know what, I, I'm really in the mood to do something uh, more fun. So like more, not more fun, but like more like like a variety. And I'm just like cartoon characters are like always different and fun to do. <laughs> That du the duck that is also a rabbit. It's the illusion. I have <laughs> come up with an illusion. It's an animal. That's what I will say, but very close. All right, I'm gonna try and roll up these 80 sleeves. I don't even know if this is possible. <laughs> okay, is there like a button? Oh my God, look at these in the me cam. Look at these freaking buttons. This is ridiculous. It's like velvet. This is nuts. Okay, mom. <laughs> I have to roll the sleeve so far up. Look at the, you can see the shoulder pads. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> okay, as soon as I lay out the uh, lines here, you guys are gonna know exactly who this is. Um, I feel like it's super obvious. Um, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Very exciting. I, I also got some new brushes over the weekend, which I'm very happy about. They, um, they're still like a kind of like metal-y stick, but um, definitely way better than the ones I had before because they kept falling apart. Um, so, <laughs> very happy about that. So hopefully these will last longer and they won't keep falling off. Anyone can guess now? Anybody? <laughs> I feel like it's so obvious. Once I put in the face, you guys are gonna know immediately. Okay, here we go, the second eyeball. Oop, boop. If this doesn't make it so obvious, I don't know what will. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle! Yeah! <laughs> you got it! It is Mikey from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at him, our first one. <laughs> but I think I had uh, two or three books. All characters had just incredibly long hair that had colored highlights in it. Interesting. I guess that makes sense because the show is about is about ladies with very long hair, so that kind of makes sense to me. <laughs> All right, so we have one. All mapped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and map out another one, so you guys can guess. Let me see. Who do I want to do? Ah, let's do this one. Anybody have any guesses on who this could be? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I sure know who it is. It's from one of my favorite shows from the 80s. <laughs> the Green Goblin. Very close. Kind of. I don't think. Maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is actually going to take a lot of detail. Um. See if I can like get this right. Ooh, bear is gonna concentrate for a hot second. It might get a little quiet. Ooh, just want to make sure I get that eye right. <laughs> Here we are. Get that sweet eyeball. He's got like a lash. That's all I'm gonna say. He's got quite a lash. Whoop. Whoop. Interesting eyelashes. There we go. I need some more water on this. Anybody now has any? Probably too early to tell. Um, got some splooshies and some sippies for me. Stay hydrated. Okay. Let's get back to it. Let's add a bit more of our paint here. Um... Hopefully I don't get paint everywhere. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh boy. That comes down and it comes up like that. Ooh, 
get that nose. Hang on, get that tight nostril. I actually have action figures of the character, uh, one of these two characters, above my desk. <laughs> Not much of a hint. <laughs> okay. It's really hard, I guess, for me to do... Well, it's not like super hard, but I'm always like, I want to make sure I get all the features right. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get this really nice line here. And I feel like this will kind of be obvious. I don't know. We're going to see. got this giant ear. You were close about goblins, but uh... <laughs> I think if I paint a few more of his friends first, you'll kind of under, you guys will probably get it a bit more. Anybody have any guesses? Any guesses at all? <laughs> this one's a tough one because he's not really like um, seen often in the show, I guess. But uh, <laughs> he's not a goblin. He's a different type of animal mutant thing, I guess. <laughs> so I put him here if you guys uh, want to keep thinking. All right, let's do another one. So here's the second one I'm going to be painting. You guys have any guesses for this one? I feel like the shape is kind of obvious. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and map out some colors. It honestly doesn't matter which ones I map out. I mean, which color I use to map out because it's going to be painted over anyway. So here we go. Though the show Gargoyles from the 90s was amazing, so I'm definitely doing that for the 90s marathon. Um, how could I not? There's also a really sick, like, um, figure of the main Gargoyle guy. I forget his name. It's like Leo Nidus or something. I forget. But uh, there's like a, this, a, this amazing high detailed figurine that's coming out of him um, that I might actually pre-order. I'll think about it. <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the um, like action figure type figures. You can like pose them around um, unless they're um, a Nendroid that I'm like more into it. But. Um, think about it. I'll think about it just because it's like really good. <laughs> All right. This one is so obvious. <laughs> you guys can do it. I know you can. The other games I have are a bit harder, but this is probably going to be the easiest. <laughs> I'm really excited for some of these. I have like two like different types of games planned all stream for you guys <laughs> one is a bit more i guess like the questions are sort of easy ish but um it kind of like you gotta rack your brain a little bit um and the second one is just i don't know now that i think about it it's kind of like <laughs> they might be a bit hard but we'll see all right last last touch Okay. I want to sing the theme song, but it's not the right theme song. Ooh. <laughs> All right, get that kawaii eyeball. There we go. Anybody have any guesses? Anybody have any guesses? 
to obviously what this is. Yes, My Little Pony, you got it. <laughs> She's cute and derpy, I love her. She's the pink one with the ice cream cones on her butt, so she'll be there. Okay, here's our next one. Any guesses? Oh, Chipper or Dale is my guess on this one. You're very close. It is a it is a small furry animal. Very close. Very very close. <laughs> um, wasn't there like um a down under like Chip and Dale like show? Um, I feel like there was one on the on um in the eighties. It was like the bear and uh, the pilot and they had like um like a freaking rescue rangers down under. Yes, thank you. Oh, Alvin, close. <laughs> it is a it is a small furry creature, but he does not sing. Well, I guess they do sing. The bear you're thinking of is Tailspin. Oh. <laughs> I think they were like in my brain it's just like the same kind of like characters but like flipped um, yeah oh my god I remember that okay this one totally gonna know what it is um, oh my god okay let me try and like this is like super tiny they've got like the classic Disney eye like, Disney does this, like, certain style with eyelids and eyeballs. So, uh... Oh, wait, I'm combining Rescue Rangers, which is Chip and Dale and the Rescuers. See, it's kind of hard to... <laughs> because the sequel was the Rescuers Down Under. Yeah, oh, where they go to Australia. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, it's kind of, like, a, kind of similar characters where it's, like, easy to get confused. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of like, I'm trying my best to uh, get the exact shape here. Here we go. Oh my god. I actually wasn't a huge fan of this show, like, growing up. Which is crazy, because, like, my name and everything, but that definitely gives it away. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get these, the other eyeball here. Do, 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 do. Watch out. And the eyebrows are like super up here. And the other. Okay, guys, Care Bear, you got it! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So you were right. You were on the the track with like cute cur a uh, cute Kirby. I keep saying Kirby. Cute furry animal. Okay. We're gonna do this one. And uh, this guy. This is gonna be really hard until I after I paint it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> this one's gonna be really difficult. <laughs> All right, let's uh, keep with the same colors here because it literally does not matter. This one's gonna be very easy to paint because just like, fish, that's a rock. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Kind of a rock. Well, no, no not really. Um, Okay, let's get this chin here. This is like super, a little complicated, and I'm not like a huge fan of complicated things, of like this type of drawing things. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> so we're gonna try, we're gonna do our best here. is a boulder. <laughs> uh, 
It's the boulders from Fraggle Rock. You guys didn't know this? <laughs> This one is just like a lot of angles and lines and oh my god. Okay. Here we go. Oop. Oop. <laughs> um, I feel like we're getting to, to the part where it's gonna be obvious. Anybody have any guesses? Any guesses at all? to what this could be. Oop, one and two. <laughs> it does kind of look like a boulder. <laughs> it is not though. <laughs> some splooshies and some slippers. Oh, Fedoto would know though. I'm just about to say, Fedoto would absolutely know who this is. <laughs> I can keep my palette not from covering the entire page. <laughs> Got it. Awesome. Let me know what he says. I'm very curious. <laughs> okay. Um, now for the complicated part. Let's go ahead and get these eyes in. Um, I didn't watch too much of this show. I'm surprised my brother didn't watch it more because he was this was would have been right up his alley um, not to say anything to spoil it but <laughs> all right um, he's got this very strange thing up here um, here we go get some triangles whoop that goes all the way up here. There we are. <laughs> I mean, at this point, guys, you could probably tell what it is now. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. <laughs> there we are. One side. And the other side. And get that sharp cheekbone um here we are he's got that mouth he's very upset boop boop and last but not least we have oh actually i shouldn't have flipped that we have this on the side there we go. Any guesses now? <laughs> I don't know their faces enough to guess which one is it is though. Megatron! It's Megatron! Yeah! <laughs> I chose him because I had a very interesting, like, weird bucket head. So, yeah, it's Megatron. You got it. <laughs> Put him there. Rock face. Yeah. <laughs> he does have a rock face. <laughs> All right, I know who I'm gonna do next. We're gonna do this one. We're gonna do this one. <laughs> this one's gonna be hard. He's gonna be hard, unless you're like a huge fan. I will say his voice was ridiculous in the show. That's all I'm gonna say. Which really doesn't narrow it down because like a lot of voices were ridiculous in these shows. I guess I'll give you guys a better hint. He was a villain. He is a villain. <laughs> Don't, I don't know if that helps or not, but okay. Here we go. He's gonna be very easy to do, uh, to paint. Very, very easy. Here we go. Coming down like that. He's got this long face. Skeletor. No. <laughs> Not Skeletor. Whoop. There we are. This one's gonna be really tough. Very, very tough. Okay, get these collar, this collar in. 
Oh, actually, yeah. Actually, I can. Uh, um, I might change this later, just to make it like his his neck going down a little bit. There we go. Okay, and he has this on the top. Um, and this line in the middle of his face with two more lines coming down. This is this is really really hard. Anybody have a guess? <laughs> really hard, really really hard. Some species GI Joe. Yes, he is from GI Joe. <laughs> Cobra, what's the name? Oh my god. Yeah, he's like the the crazy like blue commander dude who like has that like really insane voice. I can't remember his name either. It's like Commander Cobra or something. But yeah. <laughs> Alright, this one in my it's just <laughs> I can't believe I got that as soon as we added the two lines. His signature two lines on his face. <laughs> All right, this one I'm painting next. I mean, I mean, so guessable. You guys have any idea? Any idea at all who this is? <laughs> that is Thundercats. Hey oh, it is indeed Thundercats. <laughs> you have to wait and see what character it is, but it sure is. All right, after I do. That is a Thundercat if I've ever seen one. <laughs> what gave it away? The, lux the luxurious, like, uh, mountain of, like, mullet hair. <laughs> Couldn't be that at all. <laughs> okay. This one is a face, so I want to make sure I don't mess this up. Um, here we are. I'm just going to do, like, the outline of the face. I have the chin here. Okay, got that sharp cheek, sharp cheek bone. There we are. Boo -boo -boo. There we go. Get that top. Oop. Okay, and another sharp cheek bone, and there we go. <laughs> Do you think they all use special conditioner, just mane and tail? Oh! <laughs> I used to think that mane and tail, because I used to work, um, my first job was at like a Rite Aid. So uh, I always thought that like mane and tail was like specifically like horse shampoo. And I'm like, why do we have horse shampoo? Like very, very weird <laughs> that we have it in like a human pharmacy. Like, okay. <laughs> I get these like very crazy freaking eyeballs. I mean, not eyeballs, um, eyebrows here. Very crazy. Um, okay, let's get this nose. After I get the nose, I can put the eyes in. <laughs> so many girls I went to school with used it, and I was like, oh, all right, horse girl. I know. <laughs> we all have one of those horse girls. Um, there was there was absolutely like a horse girl like in art school it's like such a stereotype where we have like the one um, horse girl in class who um, isn't used to being critted because she's like really good like in her very very small town so she draws like very realistic horses and then she can't handle crit because she gets really upset. <laughs> Let's get this nose, like this. Oh my god, this nose. This is crazy. I can always go back and fix that later. <laughs> okay, gotta get those beautiful cat eyes. He 
he has he's kind of frowny in this one he's a little frowny there we go and uh, let's get the second eye here we are boop it comes down like that oh my god sorry if you hear some really weird sounds <laughs> I think my neighbors upstairs are renovating, so. Or it might be their really old sliding door, I'm not very sure. Okay. Here we are. Oh wait, I almost forgot his side bang. <laughs> okay, his side bang. Here we are. Awesome, okay, here he is. Here is Lino. <laughs> Awesome. Let's grab my bigger brush and we're going to paint this little pony. Here we go. Grab some pink and some white. Go ahead and add in the flats. Clean my brush. There we go. Let's go ahead and put in the flats. Awesome. Oop, going around my lines. Don't want to mess up that cute kawaii eyeball. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy over here. There's been, there was like a big dog fight earlier outside. <laughs> my parking lot. <laughs> um, and um, the neighbors upstairs I think are renovating um, so if you hear any like creaks and stuff I apologize <laughs> okay alrighty but at least the dogs aren't fighting anymore because that was kind of upsetting <laughs> like the babies no and finish with this pink there we are awesome okay she's all flatted out here she is our cute little pony <laughs> our my little pony <laughs> and her hair is kind of like a lighter pink so I'm gonna go ahead and grab like a bunch of white and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on um, and I think I might spice it up a little bit and grab some yellow to mix in there to kind of make it like an off pink a little bit just so it's not like so monochromatic. Oop, that might be a little too dark. Let's grab a bit more white and kind of throw that in there. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> that is the perfect color that I wanted. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's get in her cute hair. Her cute pony hair. So cute. Does anyone remember the My Little Pony game? Um, the computer game on like a computer CD um, where you could like have your own My Little Pony and you can like paint her different colors. And um, it was like the 90s style of like My Little Pony. So it wasn't like the adorable potato lumps as you see now. But um, you could like feed her and you could feed her like candy and burgers and hot dogs, which is like ridiculous. But um, if she got sick, you had to give her medicine. She hated taking it. And like your whole goal was to like get her brave enough to jump over the sticker bushes at the bottom of the bridge because that way she could like join the other ponies. So that like you're just pretty much like helping her grow up and like she, she would like jump over like, um, uh, <laughs> she would jump. I don't even remember what the word is. 
like the little stands that you, the horses like can jump over and like do tricks and stuff. She was doing those and like you would help her like you would go over to the pony like a village and like do different tasks. Like one was a baker and you would help her bake and decorate cakes. And the other one was like a dancer and you would do like Simon says on like the dance floor. <laughs> and one was like a decorator and stuff. I'm like, oh my God, it sounds like a Tamagotchi. It kind of does. <laughs> and like her health was a rainbow that like arced. And if she was feeling too sick because it is a kid's game, she wouldn't die. She would just like go away to like another pony town. So you know you failed. <laughs> And you, you always had to like log in to feed her every day. Otherwise, like she would leave. <laughs> it's like, okay, she left, sure. <laughs> it went away to the farm, exactly. <laughs> Let's grab a little bit of white, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. So it's not just like straight out of the tube. Here we are. Okay in her cute eye. Her cute eye. Here we are. Very, very cute. Grab more of that purple. All right, let's grab some black. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, paint in that cornea or retina or whatever. It is one of those. Okay, and let's get in that lash. Very important for ponies to have that gorgeous, long, luxurious lash. Too globby? Okay, should be good now. Awesome, her cute little eyes. Ooh, let's flip her over and do those lashes. Here we go. Lash, lash, lash. Get that bottom lash. And then she has the, her eye outlined. Let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Um, get the other side. Perfect. I might fix up that cornea just because it's a little lopsided. And lucky me, she doesn't really have much eye detail, so pretty easy. Um, oh, her bottom lashes. Let's get those. There we are. And <laughs> a cute My Little Pony. I'll go back in and um, add in some highlights to her eyeball. There we are. Ooh, I can't believe my hands are already this dirty. <laughs> They're already so dirty. <laughs> I just started. <laughs> okay, um, let's grab some pink and a little bit of purple and a lot of white and really kind of like brighten that up. Let's make like a really nice um, light purple for the highlights. Okay. Oop. Let's go ahead and put that in her eye, like so. Every time I do details, my voice gets like a higher octave. There we go. Her cute eye. Okay. Her cute little highlight. There it is. There's her cute little My Little Pony face. How cute. All right, let's get some darks to her uh, skin. Grab that same um, uh, pink, mix some purple in there. Make kind of like a nice darkish pinky purple. Here we go. I'm gonna give her some blush with this darker color and kind of like come around the bottom. And we're gonna start our game soon. Very excited. <laughs> Get 
getting some darks in there. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and try to remake that purple here. I think that's the same color. Yep, it is. And kind of like fix that a little bit. Reflat everything. Oh, no, I mean the pony with her stunning lashes. Okay, good. I'm like, oh my god, tech technology in my head. <laughs> Do you guys know something I don't? Um, she is the pony with a bunch of ice creams on her butt. So this is what I'm drawing. Um, and she has like a bunch of ice creams on her butt. But yeah, I would, I would absolutely love to know like who does her lash because uh sign me up please <laughs> take me to that salon please all right i was not happy with that color i just added so i kind of i'm adding like a brighter pink here just to kind of like mix in though that gradient a little bit better so it's not just so sudden Okay, let's add some highlights. Let's add some highlights. Here we are. Let's add a little bit of yellow, just to kind of make them um, a bit different from just like straight up pink. And let's go ahead and add some highlights here. Get some on her cute little nose. Get some on the top of her cheek. I'm gonna have to go back and fix up that black because I kind of covered it with the paint. And get some right by her ear, not too, too much because I don't want it to look like it's in with the hair. So here we go, here she is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fix up her cute makeup. Fix that. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some lights and darks to her hair. Um, and then we're gonna quickly do all the lines and then she'll be done. And then we're gonna start our game. <laughs> okay, so her hair, we're gonna add kind of like an orange. We're gonna add like an orange here and a little bit of that pink just to kind of make like a darker hair quickly get that in here. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. All right, fix, fix my brush here. Ooh, I really like how she's coming out. Um, okay. Let's add some darks down here to the bottom and some to the top. of that hair. There we go, adding a bit more volume. Awesome. Very, very cool. Adding in those darks to her hair. I might go back and kind of like um, fix up the darks at the very bottom just because they're coming out like a little choppy kind of like a little too transparent for my taste. So I might fix that just a little bit, really, really quickly. I'm gonna have to get going here. There we are. Oop, way too light. Add a bit more. Let's grab our purple. That should be good. Okay. Here we are. Awesome. Okay, that's so much better. I like that. Awesome. Okay, let's add some lights to her hair and then we're gonna outline her hair and her face, the lines in her face. And then we are going to start our first game, <laughs> which is trivia, 80s cartoon trivia. So I'm gonna ask you guys a series of questions. I have the answers with me to see how well you guys know your 
80s cartoons. So very excited. <laughs> okay, let's get some highlights in her hair here. Highlights, highlights, highlights. Highlights in her hair. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get a darker color for her hair so we can outline this. I'm gonna grab some orange and some yellow, um, some purple, orange and purple, kind of make like a dark, warm color. Um, see what happens. I might, I might like this. I might not like it. We'll see. Okay, because I feel like her hair could be like a bit warmer, adding like an interesting color. Actually, let's get that swoop of her hair. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's like um, like an art warm orangish almost. Okay, let's add a bit more. Let's grab more orange. Let's grab a bit more purple. Here we go. Let's do a swoop here and a swoop there. Go ahead and curl around here up that ear and we're almost done there we go I'm going to finish up with her hair and then do her face her face lines and then after that she will be done after I do my classic black outline of the character which I always do bit too dry there. Here we go. Her hair is all outlined and looking cute. Now it's time to outline her little face with some smooshies and then some sippies. Okay and then it's trivia time. All right so let's grab some purple and let's grab a little bit of green get like a dark green color kind of here we are okay um I hope you guys don't hear that music there we are. Here she is. <laughs> very, very cute. There she is. There she is, folks. Our cute little My Little Pony is all done. How cute. <laughs> we got our first charm done <laughs> in our marathon, our first charm. All right, you guys, are you ready for some trivia? Because I'm very ready for some trivia. Let's do some trivia. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you guys some trivia questions, and then please respond in the chat what you think this show is. All of these questions are about um, an 80s cartoon show. So let me know. First question is, um, Jem is a lead singer of the Holograms, but what was her real identity? So I'll repeat it. Jem is the lead singer of the Holograms, but what is her real identity? So that's the first question. <laughs> okay. So while um, My Little Pony is drying, I'm going to paint Michelangelo. We're gonna get him done, which would be super easy because, you know, he's freaking green. So. <laughs> All right, let's grab some green. Grab some green. Grab some white. And some yellow, because he's more like a yellow, like a yellowish green here. There we go, grab a bit more yellow. I'm gonna grab 
have this extra yellow too. Here we are. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and paint that body. Is it like Jerrica Barnham or something? Very, very close. Very, very close. Her first name is Jerrica. Any guesses on her first, uh, her last name? <laughs> oh, you were actually uh, very, very close. Um, Jellical fish. <laughs> Jellical cats. No, it's a uh, Jerrica Benton. So you're very, very close. I'll give it to you because uh, it could have been autocorrect. You never know. But yeah, Jerrica Benton is Jem's real um, name, her identity name. Okay, next question. Are you uh, Jelly Crow Bentham? <laughs> Jesus. Is a. Uh, Jellicro and the <laughs> the honey hams. <laughs> Jesus. She's like a freaking deli store like shop owner. <laughs> this big hairy man with like a <laughs> the pot belly that smells like ham. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, here's our second question. So you guys ready? Here we go. This show was aired on ABC at 9 a.m. It featured those furry creatures from Return of the Jedi from 1985. What is the show called? So I'll repeat it. This show was aired on ABC at 9 a.m. It featured those furry creatures from Return of the Jedi from 1985. What is the show called? Really gotta rack your brain for this one, I guess. <laughs> I've never seen this show. <laughs> There we go. We got our Mikey. He's coming along. Very, very cute. <laughs> there was an Ewok show. Yeah, it's Ewoks. Uh huh. There was. I've never seen it, but like, um, yeah, there, there definitely was like an Ewok show. Okie dokie. All right. Next question. Are you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Okay, this one is so easy. You guys will totally get this one. Papa, Lazy, and Handy are characters. Who is their villain? I repeat, Papa, Lazy, and Handy are characters. Who is their villain? <laughs> and man, I should have done these pins. <laughs> This is what this these would have been great pins to do. I'll have to do them in my own time. But uh yeah. Any guesses? You guys have any guesses? <laughs> this show ran for a very, 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 very long time. It has like a huge following. And I should have made pins because they would have been great pins. No idea. Anyone else have a guess? Okay. Anybody else? Okay. I will give you guys a hint. He is a grumpy old wizard guy with a cat for a pet. And he's always trying to steal Papa and his village to steal their magic. And Papa and his village, they're very tiny. Smurfs, yes! What was the villain's name in Smurfs? Villain's name is Bad Wizard, Bad Wait. Oh, do you know? <laughs> it kind of sounds like garbage, Gargamel. Yes, you did it! That's awesome. Yes, it is Gargamel. <laughs> <laughs> Gargamel was the villain. Okay. So let me put in these eyeballs and Mikey, and then we're going to do our second, our third question. Huh? 
this one's so obvious. <laughs> Uh, a quality user a quality username and I were just talking about this. Who was the leader of the Decepticons in the show Transformers? Who was the leader of the Decepticons in the show Transformers? So obvious. <laughs> so obvious. <laughs> Get that mouth. Awesome. Optimus, think about it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't bring your Transformer politics into this stream. <laughs> Megatron because they were lovers. <laughs> you know, it's very strange. Um, in high school, I saw a lot of like Transformer like art. Drop count one. Yeah, does the camera count as a drop count? <laughs> I guess it does. All right, be very careful trying to get this white. Speaking of white, I need more white. Yeah, I saw a lot of like Transformers like Yowie on DeviantArt. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I've never watched the show, so I don't know. <laughs> You do you if it makes you happy. <laughs> yes, the answer is Megatron. Okay, are you guys ready for the second question? Okay, this one I guess is a bit harder because I've never seen this show, but hopefully one of you guys have. This is kind of like a deep cut, I guess. Um, in the show Centrions, who was the sea operations commander? I'll repeat. In the show Centrions, who was the sea operations commander? So that's the question. Anybody have the answer? Anybody know? All right, let me go back to my Mikey pin here. There we are. Oh, he's looking great. Very happy with that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's outline, actually, let's get some um, lights and darks in, on his skin and his bandana. There we go. Yeah, I actually have never seen this show, so I really don't know myself. <laughs> um, I do have the answer, though, in case no one knows. But, uh, hopefully someone knows. <laughs> if not, I'm just gonna say it. I guess Paul. <laughs> I mean, you're you're kind of close. It is like a like a generic dude's name. Uh, the answer is Max Ray. Max Ray is the Sea Operations Commander from the show Centrions. Paul sounds evil. Jeff. Jeff. Good old Jeff. Good old Jeff the Captain. <laughs> Jeff is a is a good name. He's a good guy. Give the shirt off his back, that Jeff. <laughs> Jeff from accounting, what a great guy. Okay, gonna add some darks to Mikey's bandana here. Um, and then I'll add some quick lights. Um, and then he will be done. Cause I have so many others I need to paint. See how many I can get done before nine. <laughs> go I got some darks and his little bandana there all right guys here's the next question the next the last two questions are pretty easy so um, you'll definitely be able to guess them in the first episode of Thundercats the cats travel from their destroyed home to planet to um, destroy their home planet to third earth what was the name of their home planet let me say that again because I butchered it. <laughs> in the first episode of Thundercats, the cats travel from their destroyed home planet to third Earth. What was the name of their home planet? Any guesses? <laughs> I mean, I know this one because <laughs> I love Thundercats. <laughs> so let me know if you, what you guys think. All right, I'm gonna grab um, this green and we're gonna lighten it up a bunch for some lights for Mikey. 
um, definitely gonna grab some yellow to keep it kind of like in that same tone, that same hue. So it's not like, I don't have to like re-gradient everything with like a different hue. Catlandia, have sir, sir. <laughs> have you not seen Thundercats? <laughs> because if you haven't, don't bring that trash here. I'm kidding. <laughs> Feline Stan. <laughs> You're terrible. Get out of here <laughs> with your dad jokes. <laughs> Thanks, dad. But yeah, I will give you a hint. Zap World. Close. Very close. The, the name of their home planet is literally like in the name. Part of it is like the name of the Thundercats. So if that helps you, King, I hope it does. <laughs> Adding some highlights to our Mikey boy here. I don't know why my camera is kind of not really adjusting. Oh, I guess. Thunderworld. Very, very close. Thundera. Thundera was the Thundercats' homeland. We're very, very, very close, friend. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and add a bit more light to a bit more light to him. Grab some our yellow here and grab a tiny tiny little bit of white teeny tiny bit of white here we go after this I'm gonna like really go into paint mode here and just like crank these out I want to see how many I could possibly do usually in my streams um, I do three pins a stream on Thursdays because uh, Monday is my uh, needle felting and uh, character monster mashups um, so I want to see how many I can actually do in one night. So we're going to find out. <laughs> All right, clean my brush. Okay, guys, the last, the last trivia question in this set. You guys ready? Are you ready? So easy. So easy. Okay. What is Inspector Gadget's niece's name? I'll repeat it. What is Inspector Gadget's niece's name? Very, very easy, right? <laughs> any guesses? Anybody have any guesses? Okay, let's get like a dark, dark, like reddish brown here for the mouth and for, I think I'll do the mask, this brown, this, um, wasn't she like Sprocket or something? Sprocket? <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> Quarter dime. Oh, so close. <laughs> Yen. <laughs> Her name was actually Nickel. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> very, very close. <laughs> it's Penny. So King got it. Her name is Penny. Yeah, it's like the easiest trivia question ever. So. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Euro. <laughs> okay, let's get this smile in here. Awesome. There we go. Let's get Mikey's smile. Ba -ba -da -ba. There we are. I'm actually going to use the same um, color as his um, mouth to do the outlines of his mask. Does anyone remember the um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie where they're in those like crazy like <laughs> like suit costumes and they're fighting like ninjas in the sewer <laughs> and there's like Shredder, he's just like screaming. I vaguely remember. That's like my, my entire Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle experience. Cause I was born in 92. So like I always saw like reruns of like 80s shows. Uh, and the most I saw, as what I was saying earlier, was um, obviously Thundercats and He-Man. But there were definitely times where I would uh, I would see like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it was absolutely ridiculous, and I loved it. Hell yeah! There's like four of those live-action gifs. That's amazing. <laughs> That's the only one I actually remember. Oh, and weren't they on skateboards? <gasps> they were on skateboards, I think, in the sewer. I think I, I like vaguely remember this. 
I just remember Shredder being ridiculous. Like he was just like screaming nonsense and it was so funny. Um, but yeah, that's like my experience with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Here we go. Getting the rest of his mask done. Here we go. Here is our boy. Also, is that Panther? <laughs> Panther from Thundercats blow my little pony. Panther. It is. You're actually the first one to guess this one. Cause um, we had uh, <laughs> there's some moon cubs earlier who, who uh couldn't guess, but they guessed the green goblin, which was fantastic because kind of with that ear. But yeah, that is definitely Panthro from uh, Thundercats. Um, if you guys want to guess any of these, <laughs> yes, like my take you babies. <laughs> Fidoto, don't mess around. <laughs> Fidoto is serious about this 80s nostalgia. All right, cool. Well, Fidoto, can you guess who this is? Because uh, this, this definitely stumped a lot of people. <laughs> I will say, uh, I can guess that one. Who is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Panther, Megatron, Care Bear, G.I. Joe, Villain, lion -O. Yeah, Steph off, I got it right. Quality username did get it right. I, I'm giving them full credit for being the first person to get it right. <laughs> I was just curious to see what you guys would say. <laughs> I think he was like the Cobra Commander. I can't remember the name for, for a second. Cobra Commander, see? Okay, it is Cobra Commander. It's kind of easy to kind of like remember his name, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Um, a quality username is definitely the Cobra King of uh, all the Cobra Kai pins. So, pay your respects, mortals. <laughs> Alright, let's give him my signature black outline, and Mikey is done, and we're gonna move on to another one. I think I'm gonna do the Care Bear next. I think I'm gonna crank out all the easy ones. Oh, I forgot his tongue. Well, I'll do that really quickly. Um, and then I have two more games planned for you guys that I'm actually really excited about. So we'll be doing those. <laughs> oh my God. I have one plan that's kind of ridiculous. So I really hope you guys get it. <laughs> I'm actually very proud of myself. It's not, I do have like more trivia questions planned, but the second game that we're gonna play is just very fun. <laughs> I was like, Snake, no, Thunder Snake, no, Snake, no, dude. <laughs> Snake from Long Island Towers. <laughs> okay, let's get that tongue in here and then we're gonna be done with uh, Mikey. <laughs> no, that's Snake. Oh, no, the cobra. No! <laughs> okay, let's get this tongue in here. Get this tongue. Here we are. Okay, Mikey's done. Look at Mikey. Yay! Mikey was always my favorite because he loved pizza and I loved pizza. I also had like the Mikey um, 90s toy like action figure where he was on a skateboard holding a pizza and he had like a thing in the back like a button and the pizza would spin on his hand i loved it <laughs> okay so we're gonna get our care bear ready here are you guys ready for the second game i'm so excited for this game okay here we go the second game is i'm going to badly describe an 80s show and you have to guess what the hell it is are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, here we go. The first one is Gray Detective Man with catchphrase robot assistant abilities and smart girl solve villain with crane machine hand crimes. <laughs> I'll say it again. Gray Detective Man <laughs> with catchphrase robot assistant abilities and smart girl saw villain with crane machine hand crimes. Inspector Gadget, you guys got it. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, here's the second one. You guys ready? Outer space, half naked cat people 
fight spooky undead corpse man. Okay, I'll say it again. Outer space, half-naked cat people <laughs> fight spooky undead corpse man. <laughs> Thundercats, you got it! Nice! <laughs> start uh, putting the base coat on our Care Bear. Okay, here's a second one. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of obvious. I tried to make it not obvious, but uh, here we go. Um, Greybone Castle gets protected by large bicep bull haircut man and various magical and gadget friends. <laughs> He-Man, yay! <laughs> nice! Man, these are too easy for you guys. Man, you guys are killing it. Okay, so we're gonna do the base color for our um, Care Bear. So I think we're gonna do, let's do orange because um, we did kind of like a pink and then we did kind of like, uh, like a green. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you guys forgot the whole names. Losers. <laughs> Shade is being thrown. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab some orange. Jesus, some white. I'm gonna grab some more yellow, uh, orange here. I keep saying yellow. I guess in my mind, <laughs> orange is yellow now. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and flat our boy. Make him a cute. <laughs> I can't hear you from my winner's throne. You sit on the throne of lies. <laughs> you smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> okay, let's make him orange. I think this is the Care Bear, the orange Care Bear with the heart. So I actually don't remember much about the Care Bears. I never really watched the Care Bears, which is crazy because like I love bears. You know, people have called me Bear my whole life. My mom's nickname for me was Air Bear, Airy Berry. And then, like, growing up, my friends always called me, like, Bear or Berica. <laughs> so, why would I not watch Care Bears? I just wasn't into it. I, I saw the grumpy one, like, the really angry, like, blue one. He was always grumpy, and it kind of just, like, turned me off from the show. He was just too grumpy. <laughs> and just ruined the show for me. <laughs> it was a very wholesome show until season two and all the sex and intrigue started and they shot up good vibes from the belly button. Yeah, they were kind of like the original Teletubbies in a way. Um, which like, you know, looking at Care Bears now, I kind of like made that connection. I'm like, oh my god, they were like Teletubbies. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Is there a lawsuit? Will the lawsuit be involved? Um, though I will say, I nothing made me cry more than the freaking elephant vacuum cleaner from Teletubbies. That made me cry. <laughs> that thing scared the shit out of me and I hated it. <laughs> Every time they spilled something and they were like, uh-oh, and the, the, the fucking like elephant vacuum cleaner came out and it was like, <sighs> I was like, no, I started crying immediately. It was horrible. <laughs> I love the meme that's like, imagine friend bear walking into the room and everyone is there with best friend bear. Oh no. It's like, what are you guys doing all here without me? <laughs> no, that poor guy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, oh, he has kind of like brownish eyes. So we're gonna grab our brown. And now that I have like a new paint set, I had this massive paint set with all these colors. I now get to have my burnt sienna which I have lost forever and I could never find it. So now I have it. <laughs> the only downside to this like giant like paint set was uh, it came with hookers green. Like I used that trash. <laughs> okay, let's paint those eyeballs. His cute little bear eyeballs. Here we go. <laughs> A 
Betty's ex. Yeah, well, this one's the best friend bear, and everyone likes him best. Um, sorry, acquaintance bear, we're busy. <laughs> um, sorry, mutual friends bear. <laughs> We're in the meet, meet, we're in the middle of a very important friendship meeting. <laughs> Only real friends can uh, hang out with us. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Get some splooshies and some sippies for me. Okay. Let's go ahead and paint this guy a little bit more, before, and then we'll go back into our our game questions. So very excited. Okay, let's for his um, snout, let's grab some white and then grab some um, yellow. Kind of making like a base color and then I can always go back in with white and really lighten this up. And uh, my chair is very squeaky, so I apologize that my chair sounds like the old shipboards of the Pond the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> Very, very squeaky. I just had to have a modern style furniture chair and uh, that comes with being very squeaky. <laughs> so, at least I'm fashionable. A very fashionable butt. <laughs> okay, let's clean my brush. There we go, some splooshies. Clean, 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 clean. There we go, awesome. Okay, let's grab some black here. Um, and let's do his lash. I was saying before that he definitely has like a Disney style lash. Disney has like that classic style where it's like, it's like a, like an oval shaped eye and they have like a very thick lash that goes like on top of the eyeball. So, uh, that's what these guys have. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and paint them in. Getting one and getting two. Now, while we have our black, I'm gonna go ahead and paint in his corneas. There we go. And then paint in the inside of his mouth. There we are. Awesome, here he is. <laughs> How cute. Friends with benefits, Bear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Mutual indifference friend Bear. They. <laughs> They like, they'll say, what's up at a party and joke around for a few minutes and forget each other exists until the next event. Frenemy bear. <laughs> Keep your friends close, but your frenemy bears even closer. <laughs> okay, let's get some white and uh, let's go ahead and lighten up this eyeball here. Here we are. There we go. And let's add a highlight into his eye. And there we go. Look how cute he is already. He's so cute and snuggly. All right, let's take our white and kind of get like a highlight here on the top of his nose. Here we go. Okay. Let me go back to my reference and see. All right. More like care butt. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm very curious. Before we go back to our game, I'm gonna try and finish our little Care Bear buddy here. But um, what cartoon, what 80s cartoon character awoke in your sexuality? I'm very curious because mine are definitely Mumra and Lino because those thighs were thick. <laughs> Carmen San Diego, dude, Carmen San Diego, smoking. I loved Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Mysterious and smoking lady <laughs> running around the world stealing stuff. <laughs> she ran around the world and stole our hearts. <laughs> um, definitely also Lino with his cat makeup. Oh, it's just like I'm so into that. <laughs> Chitara. Oh my god, I think all the cats from like Thundercats were like super hot. Um, like Lino and um, Tigra and Chitara, dude, smoking, freaking smoking. And Panthro, dude, those muscles, for real. Um, also, <laughs> Gem and the holograms were pretty great. Like, um, 
I think the Misfits were like super, super like, they were way hotter and like their music was also better. <laughs> April a bit. Yeah, April was cute. Um, she always had those like really big like 80s pants. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and paint in some darks in his eyeballs. Here we are. It is an 80s, but I, huge, I had a huge crush on a lady mouse from The Rescuers. Total smoke show. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> she had those really big pants. <laughs> Ayy, <laughs> pants. <laughs> All right, let's get some highlights in this boy. Okay, whoops, that's like way too much. Let's grab some uh, white. That's way too light. Um, let's actually grab yellow, actually. Let's put some yellow in here, just to kind of like mix up the highlight. There we go, and slap that in there. Here we go, oh perfect. Look at this cute boy. <laughs> okay. We were talking about the rescues earlier and Bernard is the platonic ideal of a gentleman. He really is, he really, really is. <laughs> Also, um, I do have to say, Captain Planet, okay, I definitely had a thing for Captain Planet because his freaking, like, spandex, and, uh, <laughs> also, like, he's just this kind heart saving the planet and making sure everyone was good. <laughs> um, and his freaking hair, his mullet was fantastic to me, so definitely... <laughs> Definitely, uh, <laughs> um, Captain Planet. I also do have like a very large Lion-O and Mumra figure on my shelf above my desk. <laughs> so, <laughs> those thighs though. Okay, um, let's get in that nose. Here we go, that cute heart nose. Cute little bear heart nose. All right, let's get some lights on our Care Bear. And let's get some darks. And then we'll outline him and then we'll be done. And then we'll get back to our, our game. I'm very excited. <laughs> I have some more for you guys. <laughs> I can't believe it's almost eight already. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I don't know. I feel like this is about the same kind of like uh, pace as my usual Thursdays. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. Hopefully I can speed it up um, and get more of these done. Okay, um, right, so let's get some lights on our Care Bear. Grab some orange and grab some yellow and grab a shit ton of white. Go really ahead and br uh, brighten that up, kind of make it like a nice yellow orange color. Let's go ahead and put in some whites here in our Care Bear. Get some on the cheek. Very cute. And the other cheek. I like putting highlights or darks on the cheeks. Um, here we go. Underneath that chin just a little bit. Not too complicated. Here we are. And I might actually go back and grab more of that orange and kind of just like try and make like a lighter color just to clean up that gradient and just blend everything nicely together. Here we are. Okay. Go around the eye. Awesome. Cool beans. Yeah, if you guys are new to me, don't forget to follow so you don't miss out of my streams because I have a 90s pin painting marathon coming up on December 2nd where I try to paint as many 90s characters as I possibly can. So you don't want to miss that. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'm going to have um, 90s trivia and more 90s games planned for you guys. It's going to be great. So yeah, don't forget to follow me because if you help me get to my goal of 50 followers, I will release an emote set for you guys to harass me with in the chat. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. And uh, I 
look forward to uh, making more ridiculous content. <laughs> okay, so I'm making like a darker line here that I'm going to use to outline our boy. That's a bit too gloopy. Oop, still too gloopy. It's kind of around my brush a little bit, actually. There we go, that's much better. Okay, after we finish this Care Bear, we'll go back to our game. So I'm very, very excited. It's been a lot of fun. Let's not mess up this eyeball bear. Come on now. This brush is being very weird. It's kind of losing its tip. I'm gonna wash it real quick. Sometimes the brush gets a little clumpy and I don't want the lines to be messy. That's like one of my huge pet peeves is when like a line gets really clumpy and messy. So I'm just gonna clean it off with some splooshies and then grab some sippies for me. <laughs> Who is the sexiest Autobot? I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> I was saying before how like in high school there's like a huge fan fiction like community on DeviantArt for like like Transformers and uh, very upsetting. <laughs> this is not a question. <laughs> yeah, I mean if you're into that, you do you, my friend. There's nothing wrong with that, but uh. Very kind of weird to see robot dudes turn into cars that <laughs> have relationships. <laughs> it's a very weird, weird world we live in. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and outline this cute bear. I'm really happy with the colors in this. This is looking so good. I am really, really happy with this. Sometimes I like to do more of a painterly style with my pins, um, and it doesn't always work, but in this circumstance, it's really working and I love it. Oh my god, that looks so good! I'm so into this. <laughs> um, here we go, let's get these cute ears. Outline the ears, and we'll get his tongue. And we should be done. <laughs> um, that's a goal for Dodo. Hot to Miss Prime. <laughs> okay, let's grab some of this pink and make the cute little freckles and outline this nose. How very, very cute. And last but not least, let's get that tongue and uh, we'll get this outline and then we are done with this Care Bear. And then we can move on to our game. And then I will paint another pin. Okay. Get this tongue. Tongue done. Let's outline this man, this cute little man. Does anyone remember, this is not 80s, at, maybe it is 80s, ooh, maybe. Does anyone remember the Country Bears with Christopher Walken? <laughs> I'll get you bears! <laughs> Does anyone remember that movie? <laughs> with the terrifying, like, Chuck E. Cheese, like, animatronic bears that, like, have, like, a country club and they all sing together with instruments. And there's Christopher Walken who's, like, the evil, like, I don't even know what the fuck he was supposed to be. It was some kind of, like, evil... Um, record label dude trying to like take away or like uh, the bears cabin or like freaking shack club they would play in. <laughs> that movie was terrible. <laughs> I'm sure it, it was, but uh, I I bits and pieces of that movie like where I remember it. I just remember the very ending was like Christopher Walken like being stuck in the crowd as the bears are leaving and he's just screaming. He's just like, I'll get you bears. <laughs> it was fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up this cute bear. Here we go. Yay. Oh my God, he looks so good. I'm so happy with this. Yay. Okay. 
let's get some more water on my brush because it is a bit dry. Are you sure that wasn't a fever dream? Um, go on YouTube <laughs> and look up Christopher Walken. Um, well, first of all, what you're gonna do is you go on, you're gonna go on YouTube and you're gonna type in Sam the dog with a hot dog TikTok and you're gonna watch that and it's going to be a, a beacon of life, like a beacon of light in your life. <laughs> and then, um, and then it's like Christopher Walken, like country bears. <laughs> Look at him, he looks so good. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> For some of the phantom music and now you're hallucinating with Christopher Walken. It was not. I'm pretty sure someone's moving in upstairs and uh, they were very loud. <laughs> It was like a herd of herd of rhinoceri just like running around but yeah anyway he looks so good i'm so happy with how that came out okay all right care bears are done let's go back to our game okay guys you ready here we go this is what i'm gonna draw i'm gonna paint the um snake commander next cobra commander just because i'm gonna do all the least complicated characters as much as possible and then do the more complicated ones um just so i can like save time and crank them out mr snake <laughs> yes <laughs> okay you guys ready here we go lumpy horse community learns to be friends lumpy horse community learns to be friends <laughs> My Little Pony, yeah, you got it! <laughs> okay, this one's, I feel like these are pretty easy, but this one's uh, get wrecked. <laughs> I need a more challenging one for you guys. For my 90s one, I'll, I'll think of like harder ones. Okay, <laughs> I do not have access to a keyboard. <laughs> You're doing okay, it's okay. <laughs> my controller is dog shit for this. You got it, <laughs> get good. <laughs> Do you even Dark Souls, bro? Okay, so next one. Humanoid, this one's this one's so easy. You guys are gonna get it. Humanoid reptile kids learn judo chop techniques from garbage rat. <laughs> Transformers, no, not Transformers. I'll say it again. Humanoid reptile kids learn judo chop techniques from garbage rat. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, yes, you got it. <laughs> off humanoid yeah I mean I feel like half of like the 80s cartoons are just like mostly humanoid so <laughs> I tried to beat the buzzer <laughs> it's all good okay you guys ready for the next one um okay this one's so easy you guys will get it immediately boxy space robots turn into various smaller shapes that move fast and shoot I'll say this again. Boxy space robots turn into various smaller shapes that move fast and shoot. <laughs> it's not Al, but <laughs> Transformers, yes, you got it. <laughs> nice. Okay, next one. You guys ready? Um, this one, I think all these are so easy, but anyway. Um, mini grizzlies with soft tummies appreciate each other. <laughs> mini grizzlies with soft tummies appreciate each other. Care Bears! Yeah! <laughs> Man, you and Quality are like th neck and neck, or in this circumstance, throat and throat, because <laughs> you guys are going for the jugular. Okay. This one, uh, like I said, easy. Mullet girl band ri wait mullet girl band battle rival mullet band record company <laughs> I will eat your family <laughs> Gem in the holograms Yay or gem in the holograms <laughs> according to you <laughs> Okay last one guys you ready Here's the last one Here we go Elemental jewelry kids summon spandex man to save garbage planet. <laughs> Elemental jewelry kids summon spandex man to save garbage planet. Captain Planet, yeah, you got it. <laughs> and you guys are slaying, holy shit. <laughs> okay, now it's time to paint Cobra Commander. 
Um, let me find my reference. Uh, here he is. This Cobra Commander. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I typed planet first, damn it. <laughs> planet Captain. <laughs> it's Captain Planet, but in the clear it's been. It's Planet Captain. <laughs> That's the porn version. <laughs> okay. Or the clearance bin version. Here we go. <laughs> Planet Captain. Let's get some gray for our Cobra Commander. I'm gonna paint that face of his. I kind of made his uh, face a little too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that really quick. Um, here we go. Let's paint this guy. I think I'm making like pretty good progress. Um, it's when getting to the more complicated pins that are gonna be trouble, but uh, we'll figure it out. We'll slowly get there. Cause uh, yeah, um, I usually paint around three or four pins every not well including the furbies i paint uh about like four pins um every thursday so i'm on my fourth now and we have an hour left so i am killing it guys <laughs> maybe i can get all the teenage mutant ninja turtles done we'll see maybe <laughs> though i would like to get one of these more complicated ones done first so uh, I think I'll do Panthro after I do the Cobra Commander, and then we'll do the more um, simple ones. Um, okay, let's go ahead and grab some blue and some more white. I mean, I'm running out of white like crazy. Okay, here we are. Um, let's clean my brush. <laughs> You're seriously owning this stream. You're doing so great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am. I. I'm just gonna say I'm fucking killing it. <laughs> Cause like, I have never painted this fast in my life. <laughs> Let alone have games for you guys. So I ain't never seen so many pins in my life. I know, and like, there's definitely more down here too that uh, I've yet to get to. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's get our Cobra Commander. Let's get his um, collar in. Yeah, has anyone seen like the the 80s X-Men shows? I feel like um, that was also like a super popular one, but I just never watched it. I was just never like a huge, um, I was very picky with like superheroes. I preferred like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Was there any 80s uh, shows that you guys just c do not, cannot stand? Um, I don't know if there is one for me. Maybe, um, maybe it is X-Men. I just hated it when it came on. I was just not a fan. I was not interested. <laughs> the meme of Wolverine in full costume holding a framed picture of jeans from that show is gold. I remember this. Okay, so that's where that's from. I remember seeing that. I'm just like, he's hold he's wearing pants, but holding pants. It's like um the nickelback meme where it's like, look at this graph. <laughs> and he's holding a graph, but it's Wolverine holding pants. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Okay, let's get some blue in here. Grab our blue. Ooh. Wow, I mixed the perfect blue. Awesome. So grabbing this like darker blue and then grabbing this lighter and it makes like the perfect color for our Cobra Commander hood. Um, oh my God, guys, his hood is the shape of a Cobra. I just noticed that, look at that, his hood, it's like a Cobra, wow. I'll be over here. <laughs> You know, it's still not as bad as me not realizing that Wooper was an axolotl. So, <laughs> I uh, I haven't reached the bottom yet, <laughs> cause that was the bottom. <laughs> okay, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. Awesome. Okay, stay on phone. Oop, I'm getting my hands all dirty. <laughs> Okay, let's paint the side of his cobra head 
uh, 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 hood. <laughs> Literally, I guess in this case. Um, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> yes, he's a cover with a hood. That's why they call him Snake Foreskin. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> Paramilitary organization is a natural social structure for cobras in this world, in the wild. <laughs> they have a, a ranking, a whole military ranking. <laughs> okay, let's add some purple to that blue to make it like a nice darker blue to use for the shadows in his hood. Awesome. After I paint him, we're gonna start another game. Are you guys excited? <laughs> you guys are killing it so far. I was so proud of myself. I'm like, they're never gonna guess these like making up words to a, to a <laughs> to a show. But you guys absolutely wrecked it. So I'm very impressed. <laughs> okay, got the pretty much um, all the flats done for this guy. <laughs> Username is cheating, so I'm still king because reasons. That's fair. <laughs> okay. Man, I was saying before in the beginning of my of the stream, I'm actually wearing one of my mom's 80s shirts. Like this has this has shoulder pads. This is, do you see that shoulder pad in the me cam? Look at this, look at this fucking shoulder pad. This is a shoulder ass pad. It is on my shoulder right now and it's very hot. <laughs> this is a very hot blouse. <laughs> People in the 80s must have sweat like a lot. <laughs> it's very hot. And this collar is very heavy too. <laughs> a shoulder ass pad. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, let's get some white gray for our Cobra Commander. So I'm going to grab a chunk of this white and slap it on there. Ooh, God, that went everywhere. Okay, then I'm going to grab a teeny tiny dollop of white. And that's a little too light. Grab another. Here we are. Ooh, still too light. Grab another. That's better. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Um, here we are. Let's go ahead and paint in the lights on his face. Here we go. And I can actually get that chin. I don't think he really has much of one. It's kind of just like an orb. His face is kind of an orb. <laughs> signature two lines. He does. He has like, he has like two signature lines. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay. Um, here we go. Here we are. Yeah, my um, my brother, my older brother, he uh, loved G.I. Joe. And I never understood because I always played with like my action figures and my dolls. And he always kept his in boxes like a collector on a shelf. And uh, there was one day where I like took out his G.I. Joe and like I was playing with it. He got so mad at me. He's just like, put that back. And he's sustained mint condition. I'm like, bro, you're like 10. <laughs> I'm like eight. Like, it's a toy. <laughs> I'm gonna play with it. <laughs> what is this emote? What the fuck? Oh, it's a turkey. It's a turkey. It's a Thanksgiving turkey. It kind of looks like an apple almost, but uh, that is a delicious turkey, my friend. <laughs> with a face on it. Oh. <laughs> Someone is excited about Turkey Day, I see. <laughs> okay. Ooh, did I get my sleeve in my paint? Well, that's a problem. All right. Let's get some lights in his, um, his cobra hood. Okay. Let's get some lights. So let's go ahead and grab that blue we did last time. And let's grab that lighter blue. There we go. Mix that perfect shade that I like and then grab some white and really lighten that up. There we are. Awesome, that's looking good. Okay, so let's go ahead and add lights to the top of his helmet. Not too, too much, 
blood just a little bit. He is very, very simple. I don't want to uh, run out of time here. So there we go. Give him more of that painterly style. Some highlights. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> some dry throat. Got some species. Oh my god! Sunrest! You're a genius! Look at that! It is that face on the turkey! Wow! It, it like perfectly blends into the turkey. So I just thought it was like a giant, plump, juicy ass turkey. But wow! Could, this is amazing! Thank you! You solved the mystery! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, let's go ahead and add some darks here. I'm gonna grab some black, kind of lighten that up with the blue a little bit. We're gonna add some pink, get some warm, since he's a very, very cool character. We're gonna add some uh, red to our dark black, just to make like a warmer shade so he's not so monochromatic. Okay, let's go ahead and outline our boy here. Get his uh, helmet up top. Boo -boo -boo. And it comes down. Ooh, that was a crash. <laughs> that was a big crash. I <laughs> uh, hope Moon is doing okay out there. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's grab some more black for the chin. Boop. Okay, we're gonna come down like that for his chin and then back up. There we go. Got that face. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Moon just died. <laughs> Moon died just now. F in the chat. Rip, Moon. Rip. <laughs> Let's get that line in the middle of his face. Ooh, that is looking nice. Look at that. <laughs> my um, my brush was kind of like doing what gouache does, where you can like um, do like a dry brush with like a thin, thick line. That was crisp as hell. That went perfectly. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's grab some black and put in those two signature lines that he has on the side of his head. <laughs> Here we go. There's one. And let's do two. Perfect. There he is, our boy. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, clean my brush with some splooshies and get some sippies for me. Because I am parched. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Alrighty. So let's add a bit more light to his neck because he does have like a light area here. And I can actually go in and fix that area that I kind of messed up with the collar. Go ahead and put that in there. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and grab like a darker red here, like a dark, dark red, kind of like what we did before when we but it's going to be for the collar this time, so I'm going to kind of like brighten it up a little bit. Um, and roll my brush into a point to get off, off all the excess paint. And we're going to paint in his collar. Okay, let's get the neck. And it comes down. And we're going to get that collar for our Cobra Commander. Okay, so here is his collar. Getting that in there. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so he does have like a light blue patch on the top of his head, so I'm gonna use this like nice pink, like dark reddish that I used. 
um, and he does have like two black triangles, triangles, diamonds on his collar, but unfortunately, how I, I didn't leave myself enough seam allowance on his collar, so it's just gonna have to be one on the right collar, but that is okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna hurry up and finish this guy, and then we'll get back to another game. Alright, here we are. Get that in there. I'm actually gonna take this black and kind of like darken the back of his neck. There we go. Awesome. Some stooshies and some sippies for me. Go ahead and add some lights to his face. So we're gonna grab a little bit of black down here, just a little bit, and then we're gonna grab a crap ton of white. Actually, I should start with the white first, um, because it would have been much much easier to get <laughs> a light gray. Okay. Oh, perfect. I actually uh, used the rest of my white, so I kind of have like a really nice like color in there too have probably kind of like a yellowish. Okay, so let's go ahead and paint in some highlights in his face. There we go. Got some highlights in there. They're a little bit uh, hard to see, but that's okay. Um, I might go back in there and definitely add um, a bit more. Clean my brush. There we are. Okay, so let me add more white because I just ran out. <laughs> okay, let's put some white in there. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Okay, let's grab some white here. Really mix that in. Make it just a little bit lighter and go back in to those highlights. Perfect. All right, that's actually much, much better digging that. Cool. Okay, we need like a light, light blue for the top of his head, and then I'm going to outline him, and then he should be done, honestly. Okay, um, you're making some really record time here, folks. <laughs> some record time. All right, let's go ahead and paint the top of his head. Here we go. Paint the top of his head blue. Here's our Cobra Commander, guys. Let's not drop him. Because <laughs> you know I will. You know I'll drop him. <laughs> He's looking pretty good. I think my favorite so far is the Care Bear. Let me know what you guys, um, what your favorite pin is so far that I've done. I love the Care Bear. I am so happy with how he came out. I'm a huge fan of that Care Bear. All right, let's go ahead and outline our boy black make him nice and crisp nice and crispy I'm actually gonna need some more black all right let's put some more black on my palette here we go awesome and I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do pan throw next um, we're gonna do pan throw um, here we are. do snakes have butts you know, that's a very good question. Um, I, I mean, I think everything poops, so they have to have a butt, right? <laughs> or do they molt their poop? I don't know how that works. <laughs> I don't have, I've never had snakes before. I've been chased by snakes. Um, they're faster than they look, <laughs> but <laughs> I have never watched a uh, snake poop, so I really can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna let you finish, but Cobra, Cobra Kira looks like he's got a chrome butt for a face. <laughs> it's probably because the highlights. Oh, it's really funny. But... <laughs> 
amazing. Oh my god. Oh, excuse me. That's fantastic. I'm tempted to leave it. <laughs> it does look like a butt. <laughs> oh my god, it's so great. Oh. But I will fix it. Here we are. He is now fixed. No more butt. <laughs> Guys, Cobra Commander is done. It is time for another game. Are you ready? We're gonna do another game and then we're gonna paint Panthro. Hopefully he's not too complicated where I can finish him in time. Um, I would like to get at least two more done, but we're gonna see. I mean, Panther is pretty simple. He's just pretty much like, you know, like uh, blue and then like with some white accents. So hopefully it's, it won't be too, too bad. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's some more trivia for you guys. Let me know your answers in the chat. First question, who did Shredder build a human-shaped mechanical suit for? I'll repeat it. Um, who did Shredder build a human-shaped mechanical suit for? Alf, no. <laughs> no, it's not Alf. Maybe this is a toughie. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> His son, Remy. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Wolf. No. <laughs> you guys give up. <laughs> His other son, Stuart Little. Brother Cheddar. <laughs> That's fantastic. Riffer. No! The answer is Krang. <laughs> Shredder built a human shaped mechanical suit for Krang. <laughs> I didn't know that one because I didn't really <laughs> watch. <laughs> um, okay, you guys ready for the next one? <laughs> I was washing dishes and couldn't dry my hands fast enough. <laughs> oh, of course, Krang. You know, the uh, <laughs> the main character, Krang. <laughs> I knew that. I was just trying to give you the rest of you a chance to get one. My brother would be disappointed in me. Oh, no, the family shame. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, you might be able to redeem yourselves um, in this the next few questions. You guys ready? This one is so, you guys are going to get this one immediately. Okay, this is so easy. In Thundercats, what did Lion know? Wait, oh, sorry. First one. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Mumra is the main villain, but who is the hero? Super easy. You guys get it. Lion O. Yes, you got it. <laughs> very, very easy. See, you guys are redeeming yourselves after all. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Snarf. <laughs> you didn't say the show. Oh no! <laughs> okay, you guys, ready for the second one? This one might be a little bit harder, okay? You have to be a, a really big Thundercats fan to get this one. And I love Thundercats and I didn't get it. It took me a while to realize, okay? Here we go. In Thundercats, what did Lionel say to activate his sword's power of long distance vision? <laughs> They're cats. Cheetor. They're cats. <laughs> Chitara's like dumpy trailer park cousin. Cheetor. <laughs> I'll say that again. In Thundercats, what did Lionel say to activate his sword's power of long distance vision? <laughs> Sword, please activate, please. Please, pills, pills. Sword, pills. <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember this. Enhance. Sight beyond sight. You did it. Yes, that's it. 
give me sight beyond sight! And then he looks in the cat eye and it opens. And uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Pretty much, give me some glasses because I'm nearsighted as shit. <laughs> Okay, this one's also pretty easy. It's been living in the back of my brain forever. <laughs> Alright, this one's pretty easy, okay? You guys ready for this? Keith, Lance, and Pidge are a few characters in this show. Keith, Lance, and Pidge are a few characters in this show. You guys will totally get this one. So easy. Super, super easy. Oh my god. Hey, SWAT Cats was amazing. That show was fantastic, and no one remembers it. I loved SWAT Cats. It was so cool. <laughs> Biker Cats from Mars. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, DD. <laughs> Like, that's just a dude's name. Oh, come on, you guys know this one. <laughs> I know some of you are joking around, but you'll actually know it. Um, Keith, Lance, and Pidge are a few characters in this show. I will give you a hint. There's a giant robot involved, and they just released, um, DreamWorks released a newly animated series for this show. On Netflix. <laughs> it's not Captain Planet. <laughs> Voltron! You did it! Yes! <laughs> Captain Planet, excuse me, but I think you mean Planet Captain, okay? <laughs> so, get it right. <laughs> yeah, it is Voltron. I know that, like, the, I think the original is, like, garbage. It's, like, hot garbage. It's, like, really bad, but... <laughs> Bear is a bully. <laughs> Clance should have given it away. It, hey, listen. Clance sucks, okay? I am Shino and Keith forever. Five ever, okay? <laughs> We're having a ship war. <laughs> Keith, Lance, and Pidge are guys that hang outside of Wawa at 9 p.m. on a Tuesday. That's very true. <laughs> I've been on Tumblr in the past five years. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, speaking of uh, rainbow bright quality, here's a question you'll definitely know. Um, what was the name of Rainbow Bright's talking horse? What was the name of Rainbow Bright's talking horse? See, I didn't even know that she it had a name. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, okay, try and get this rainbow clop. <laughs> clop is actually pretty funny. That'd be cute. Rainbow clop. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> um, her horse's name was Keith Lance and Pidge. Okay, come at me. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> I am clearly the trivia master. <laughs> uh, do you guys give up? See, I didn't even know that the horse had a name. I've never actually watched the show. Rainbow Mane. Close. Very close. Very, very close. <laughs> never. <laughs> um, her name was Starlight. <laughs> Rainbow Mane was kind of close, I guess. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I wasn't close at all. <laughs> I feel like it would have been, it's kind of like similar, you know, I don't know. She's a rainbow and he's a rainbow and the show's about rainbows. I don't know. I feel like you could have that one. I feel like it's good. <laughs> what the dumbest name. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Went on to have a very successful superhero career. <laughs> sort of like, get out of here, Moon. <laughs> that ain't anywhere near Rainbow Moon. <laughs> wow, wow, that's good. Oh my 
god. Ooh. What was the horse? <laughs> the horse, the kid, the indie singer songwriter in the 90s. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Panthro. I am working on Panthro, trying to get his, uh, his, uh, f uh freaking coloring done while I am doing trivia at the same time. Okay. Are you guys ready for the second question? Or not so question, but the next question. Okay. <laughs> we were talking about chipmunks earlier in the chat. So this one's definitely related. So here's the question. Which singing chipmunk wore a green shirt and loved to eat his brother's leftovers? Really easy. Which singing chipmunk wore a green shirt and loved to eat his brother's leftovers? Chip, 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 and Dale. No, <laughs> it's not Dale. <laughs> Your hint is singing chipmunk. And he wore a green shirt. Theodore! Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't even. I, didn't, <laughs> I missed your comment before. Yes, quality. You, you, guessed, it, you guessed it right. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> Jesus. You guessed it right. Yeah. Okay, guys. You ready for the next question? Super easy. Another super easy one. You guys will get this, like, no problem. So, in this show, um,. Popeye is the hero, but what is the villain's name? In this show, uh, Popeye is the hero, but what is the villain's name? <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> Olive. Olive, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Yeah, wasn't she, like, not great? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but, uh, <laughs> clogged arteries and heart disease. Wasn't it, like, bull dongle? <laughs> bull dongle? Um, ki kind of? His name did start with a B, and it had an L in it, so you're very close. <laughs> It rhymes with Pluto. <laughs> it's going to be bar light. Oh no, a monster mashup of Pluto. Yay, got it. A monster mashup of Pluto and Starlight, Rainbow Bright's horse. I don't even want to go there. <laughs> barnacle. Fucking barnacle. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. All right. Um, I have a few more for you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do those. I'm going to paint um, Panthro's eyeball very quickly. This is a bit transparent, this uh, uh, brown. Okay, next question, you guys, ready? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right, you guys, are you prepared? Here we go. Count Duckula made his first appearance in which popular cartoon? <laughs> Count Duckula made his first appearance in which popular cartoon? <laughs> it's not Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Not Darkwing Duck. Not DuckTales. Count Duckula made his first appearance in which popular cartoon? <laughs> this one's hard because I actually never knew this one. I just heard Moon sneeze. <laughs> Bless you, Moon. <laughs> The Adventures of Scrooge McDuck and the Perils of Capitalism. Ooh, that got, that got a uh, heavy. <laughs> Barkwing Buck. <laughs> the answer is Danger Mouse. Anyone remember Danger Mouse? Cause I sure as hell don't. <laughs> so yeah, um, there you go. Okay, let's go and 
try and finish our panthro. I'm excited. Bang, <laughs> banger bouse. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. There we are. We're gonna get panthro's eyeliner here. It is, we have 30 minutes left. Um, so I'm gonna try and get Panthro done and I'm actually gonna start Megatron. So hopefully I can like break my record of like four pins in a night. So <laughs> Brandsformers. <laughs> this beautiful man <laughs> he's got some uh, part of his uh, white on a little bit of his nose <laughs> Megatron's easy slap some gray on there red eyes thick black lines boom yeah <laughs> uh, future request for you Autobots as magical girls Oh my god, yes! That is fantastic! I will absolutely draw that. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I guess on the topic of like drawing things, um, I am starting a, like, I, I know I mentioned this before, but um, I feel like it's more official now, but uh, seconded. <laughs> Um, Bear earlier, I can't do robots, don't give me transformers, chat, give us robots, <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, like in, in school I always struggled with anything like mechanical, I always hated drawing anything mechanical, but uh, I mean, if it's magical girl transformers, I will absolutely suffer for you all, <laughs> that is a promise. <laughs> Okay, let's get some um, darks on our man, our very handsome man here. Um, oh yeah, right. Um, so, I'm actually gonna grab some purple. Ooh, I actually like that. Okay, that's really nice. Grabbing some of this blue and then adding some purple in there to kind of make it darker is really nice. It has like that warmth a little bit. Ooh, I like that very crispy indeed. <laughs> what did Panther do to the character designers that they did that like that? Who did he hurt? <laughs> what Heather had damage? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, he's like a gargoyle looking. I, I don't understand. I mean, like, he, he's, he's Panthro. He should be like a really cool freaking, like, Panther guy. You know, but yeah, he looks like a creepy gargoyle man. I'm not, I'm not sure why they would do this to our boy. <laughs> I think he was the strongest Thundercat. I just remember seeing him like on screen, just like picking up like a ship and shit. Just like throwing it across, like <laughs> picking up boulders or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> boy got strength boy got bars <laughs> mr. clean but uh blue cat <laughs> well I know great hair handsome thick thighs panther oh well, I don't know a basement goblin <laughs> yeah he kind of does this poor man no he's like oh maybe he's a sphinx oh my god maybe he's like a sphinx cuz there's a hairless cat because all the other cats are hairy, but he's bald. He could be a sphinx. He's a panther. <laughs> he was a nerd inventor, but I also think black coated. Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, which is kind of, uh, which is kind of a little cringe. <laughs> but you can't. But you can tell because the name's Panthro. I don't know, but I think he's a sphinx. <laughs> he could be a sphinx. <laughs> How amazing. 
All right, let's add some darks to him. I'm go I gotta get going. Um, and paint these boys so I can get to Megatron. Very exciting. Ooh, here we go. Let's add a bit more dark in his brow here. Um, okay, well adding some darks here to our man. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like, <coughs> oh, excuse me, grab a bit more uh, blue and kind of like lighten that up just a little bit just to get back to our original color and kind of just like mix that in very, very nicely. There we are. So we have that crispy ass gradient going on. That's way too light. <laughs> I bungled it. <laughs> Way too light, bear. Oh, bear. Okay, there we go. That's that's better. <laughs> uh, nobody like, hmm, I think Chitaro is modeled after a wombat. <laughs> oh, dear. There was also Wily Kit and Wily Cat. I don't know who the, f I don't know what the fuck Snarf was supposed to be. Snarf was just something else. I don't even know. <laughs> so... <laughs> Crispy ass. <laughs> they just made him look so smooth. Everyone else had fur. Why does he look so smooth? Because he's a Sphinx. I'm pretty sure he was a Sphinx. Because you had it. They, they were pro obviously the creators were cat fans. They're all cat nerds, and they're just like let's do cat people and they probably um went after all the different kind of jungle animals but kind of mixed some kind of like domestic cat situation in with them i don't know but uh yeah oof guys all right i'm gonna go into concentration mode here i'm gonna try and finish this because we are running out of time and I'm gonna do my best here to finish Panthro because I'm gonna at least try and start Megatron because I don't even think I'm gonna to get to finishing him today. But at least, you know, the effort counts. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but I think I'm doing pretty damn good. <laughs> so, all right, let's get some lights in our boy very, very quickly and then we're gonna go and grab some black to finish this man's little beautiful gorgeous lash um and uh his crazy eye uh eyebrows too uh go ahead and brighten up there we are perfect let's get that nose the tip of a nose gets a highlight all right get some highlights and some darks in there i don't like how dark this chin got. I'm gonna add some lights and really brighten that up because the shadow is a bit too harsh. That is so much better. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go and add some darks. Got some splooshies. Let's wash my brush. My God, this shirt is so hot. How did people in the 80s wear these shirts? Okay, cool. Okay, let's grab our black. And let's go ahead and uh, add in our boy's lash. His gorgeous, gorgeous lash. There we go. Very, very cool. Oop. All right. And he has like some mascara. Well, I guess. I don't know, they all have like very cute cat makeup. So I'm gonna come down and give him like a dark line for his, the bottom of his lash and get the cornea in there. So our boy is looking fine. He's looking pretty good. Okay, let's wash my brush and let's go ahead and get like a darker color in for the lines. So I'm gonna do like a darker red because he's pretty blue and cold and kind of monochromatic. So I think adding um, like a nice um, warm dark line will really add in like a nice touch. So yeah. Oh right, I was saying earlier, oh my God, my brain. <laughs> um, so um, I, mentioned this a little bit um i think last week 
but um, I decided to start a YouTube channel and to put my streams on there. So I'll be doing that um, very, very soon. I also decided to do, uh, to create some light content, not nothing like too crazy, but I thought about doing some really fun art challenges and then um, doing like some videos about like, um, like cartoons, like the history of like some cartoon shows because like I love cartoons so so much. I love animation so so much and if it wasn't for animation I don't think I would ever become an artist so I definitely want to make videos about and I also love learning about things so I thought you know what there are a lot of videos out there where people just like do the history of stuff and it's really interesting. So um, I thought, you know what, I'll just do the history of like anime, like cartoons and shows and stuff from like nostalgia. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of that too. So yeah, um, that will be happening very soon, maybe, I don't know. I was on YouTube, Moon and I were actually on YouTube for a little bit, like a very tiny bit. We did uh, speed paints and um, we did some, um, a little bit of uh, gameplay, like let's plays. But uh, it just became like a, a lot. So we kind of like, we we're in like a time in our lives where it was just like too hectic and busy to sit there and edit videos. <laughs> so um, I think like, you know, I'm really enjoying Twitch and it's been like really fun kind of like, you know, recording videos and like being really goofy and like kind of being myself. So <laughs> I thought, why not? Why not uh, kind of start YouTube again? Who knows? We'll see. Maybe, but uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know when that's happening. <laughs> okay, so really liking the darker uh, red. Um, my brush is kind of getting clumpy, which is kind of annoying, but. Okay, we're gonna get this nose and we're gonna hurry and try to finish this. Okay, his eyebrow is black. So let me clean my brush real quick with some splooshies. And uh, there we are. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab this black and we're going to really make that eyebrow crispy. Here we are. Okay. And um, also, another announcement. My mailbox situation is fixed, so I will be, at the end of this month, all the pins and needle felts you see me making on, on Twitch will be up in my Etsy if you guys want to grab them. So, um, my Etsy is Bear Moon Studios, um, so go ahead and uh, grab them if you want them. <laughs> a lot of you guys, uh, will the wet Furby be for sale? I am not sure about the wet Furby. What I'm thinking about doing is actually further down the road, um, I would put them all in like a giant display and then just like do like a raffle. <laughs> and then whoever wins would get a giant case of like all the horrific Furbies. <laughs> it's obviously prices <laughs> and it should be donated for future generations. <laughs> It belongs in a museum. <laughs> I agree. Um, it is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I w I'm definitely holding on to them um, until, like, you know, something special comes down the road. So, yeah, the long Furbies are here to stay, so don't worry. Um, yes, they'll be here for the long run. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to quickly, very, very quickly, um, get some lights in his eye. Let's go ahead and grab this yellow, throw it down here, grab some uh, white, chuck it down there. Here we go. And we're going to give him a nice highlight on the bottom of his eyeball. That is way too chunky. Ooh, okay. Perfect. No pun intended. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice. I like that. <laughs> what Furby haunts my waking thoughts. <laughs> it is pretty intense. Um, there, this is like my work desk. 
when um, and also my streaming desk. So every day I get to look over. If you look in the VCAM, here are all my pins on the the uh, magnet board, and here are all my magnets, and here are all my pins, and all the Furbies are right over here. So every day I get a beautiful reminder of uh, <laughs> the sheer horror. <laughs> Of uh, those freaking Furbies. It is beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing some of that yellow I used for the eye. And I'm kind of just like adding it to a few areas on Panthro just to make him look pretty, pretty good. Nice and crisp. That is nice. Okay, I'm gonna go do a little bit under his eyelid because there's a shadow there. There we are. Oh yeah, it's looking fantastic. Oh, I love that. Okay, awesome. So let's add a highlight into his eyeball and this boy is honestly done and I can outline him. And then we can get to Megatron, so yeah. Okay, let's um, add a white into that eyeball. Boop, boop, boop. Fantastic. All right, clean my brush. And let's go ahead and outline our man here in our black, my signature black, and he will be done. And we have officially broken the record of four, over four pins in a night. So, fantastic. I am very happy. <laughs> okay, here we are. Oop, that's too clumpy. Get around that ear and whoop, go around the chin. Trying to be careful so I don't take away too many details of his shape because he has a very interesting and lovely profile. Go around that nose. There we are. Go back up. go the top of the noggin boo, 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 boo. noggin and he is done <laughs> our boy is done look at him okay clean my brush get some sippies because I'm very dehydrated because I'm sweating to death in this freaking 80s coat his 80s shirt oh my god it's so hot in this thing here is Panthro. He is looking fantastic. Really happy how he came out. And we broke the record, guys. We broke the record. <laughs> okay, let's try and get Megatron at least started. Um, here we go. Awesome. So we are gonna need a lot of gray, which is pretty easy. Record destroyed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, I also have Lino kind of like mapped out what I did in the beginning, but like characters with faces, I usually take a little bit longer because I like to, you know, add, oh, I need more white. Ooh. I need to, uh, you know, all the fa facial features and stuff I like to take my time with because I don't want to mess up like, the, you know, the face is the most important part of the character, so I don't want to mess that up. So I usually like to take my time, unless it's something that's really easy, like a Care Bear, or like, you know, something easier, but... Yeah, that's why I'm always like, okay, I want to make sure I don't mess this up. Uh, I want to make sure the eyeballs are, like, straight in the same direction and everything, so I usually take a bit longer. Okay, so I mixed a uh, gray that I really like. Um, that's, I think it's a good shade. Let's go ahead and fill in our Megatron. Um, here we go. Didn't Megatron turn into like a giant gun? Was that what he did? Because <laughs> I did not watch Transformers 2 too much. And all I know is that like he turned, someone turned into like a giant gun. And then the, then the other robot took that gun and they just shot with the gun. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> This show is, is a, no, it was a regular size gun. It was, no way, no way. It had to be like a giant 
freaking robot gun, right? He didn't turn to like a regular sized gun. There's no way, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> that would be absurd. <laughs> Can't be right. Okay, let's go and get this cheek. And we're gonna go ahead and get the thing on the top of his head. to get the top of his nose, which is highlighted, the rest is in shadow, and get the parts of his mouth here. There we go. There's some awesome. Very, very cool. And get the other side of his helmet thingy. go back in and get some darker gray too. Uh, giant ass Megatron who fought Optimus with a purple mace when transformed to regular old gun that sh Starscream shot. That is fucking fantastic. Oh my god. That is amazing. <laughs> I trust Venodo on this 100%. Me too. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting a darker shade of gray to use for the angles of his face. So we're gonna add a little bit. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this, but my palette is taking over. <laughs> okay, here we are. Getting that side of his cheek and the other side too. Perfect. Okay, and he has we're gonna do this like a darker because it should be in shadow honestly but it's not so I'm just gonna be a bit more accurate here this would definitely be in shadow okay here is Megatron with our shading here looking pretty nice okay cool so um, let's also get that nose Oh, and he's got those lips. <laughs> and then he would just like get close to the screen and then fade back from the screen so you didn't notice that all his masks just disappeared. That's very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. I'm not surprised though. But yeah. Well, guys. Woo. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. It is so hot in this freaking shirt. I am absolutely dying in this shirt. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much. We are just about out of time. But thank you guys so much for, uh, <laughs> for watching and hanging out with me during, um, our 80s pin and painting marathon. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I sure did. Um, uh, the next time I will see you will be on this upcoming Monday. And um, I have actually some new segments um, and some like new topics to talk about on Monday that I hope you guys like, just to shake some things up. But um, yeah, and then the next time I'll see you guys um, on a pin painting stream will be on December 2nd, the Thursday. So I hope you guys have a fantastic and delicious turkey day. Um, I hope it is yummy and scrumptious. You guys get all the tasty foodies. I know I will be eating it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Meanwhile, his nemesis is equal in fighting prowess, transferred into a whole Mack truck. <laughs> Stationary cannon, so basically, yeah. Uh, later, Megatrons become tanks, which makes so much more sense. I mean, I feel like since he's a, he's a villain, at least his gun would be huge, like a giant laser. But it's it sounds ridiculous that it's just like a regular ass gun. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my god. 
But yeah, I will definitely have to finish um, our. I have to finish uh, Megatron off screen. But uh, here are all the pins that we did today, and uh, here are all the pins that I did not finish. <laughs> it's quite a lot. But uh, thank you guys so much for all your suggestions. I can't wait to see you on Monday. I hope you have a lovely, lovely weekend and a fantastic turkey day. Take care, you guys. And uh, I will see you Monday. <laughs>